Hello, my name is Brendan Snell, and this is the application that I've made. So this application, called DSS Exams, allows for the uh, scheduling and keeping track of uh, special conditions testing for disability support services. So the first thing I'm going to show is the scheduling of an exam. Say I click Schedule Exam, it gives you a form to fill out here. And I just put some garbage in here, because I don't need real student names or real course names for this demonstration. So if you click on this, which allows you to choose the day that you want this scheduled for, I could choose any day. I'm going to pick today so that we can actually see it. And uh, scheduled times, the same thing. We can put any time we want in there. I'll go ahead and put a time in the future a little bit. And approved accommodation, reduce distraction, extended time, 50% whatever the student has and I'm going to say no is received approved time let's put it at uh, 125 minutes so here you can see this exam that I just made it's in red uh, because the exam has not been received so if I click on this and I say received yes and I say am okay submit exam you can see that this moved up and it's now in between these two exams because it's ordered by the time of day and say I want to start it now so start it and you can see the uh, two hours and five minutes that was on there starts ticking down and say Jan John Doe comes in and he doesn't want to take his test anymore he took it in class whatever I can cancel that and it goes away for forever and then uh, say I want to go to the second you can see it's already selected there and uh, you see this other exam that's on here on the second uh, hello, some guy, some class, and I can change that to whatever I need. Let's say I, he changed his accommodations or whatever. I can I can submit that and it saves that on there. So let's go ahead and go back to this one. So I have this exam running here. The timer's ticking down, and say I need to answer an email or something. I go over here. I'm messing around with my settings. I'm doing something else and then you come back to this you see how the timer took a jump there it continues in the background although it doesn't update, update the screen obviously because the applications paused but uh, when you come back to it it remembers the time and it it counts back down from where it needs to so uh, the phone while the application is running can still keep track of time if you close the application obviously all the timers stop uh, there's no way around that so uh, say this guy finishes his test. I say finish exam. You get the elapsed time here. You get the start time, the finish time, and you can't edit any of this. It's only for records now because it's a completed exam. So uh, to show that the stuff is actually saved on the phone, I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to go and reopen it. And you see this happy little guy sitting there. And you uh, see the exam that I scheduled earlier, all this stuff, the completed exam, the exam for that other day here. It's all saved on the phone itself. And that pretty much covers everything. Oh, yeah. When uh, a timer is started, let's just do this one for demonstration, uh, and it gets down to 10 minutes left. You get a notification. Obviously, I can't show there's an hour and 15 on that. You get a notification that says the student only has 10 minutes left. And then whenever the student actually completely runs out of time, you get another notification that says the student has ran out of time. And then it will say finished for this. So you uh, go and you pick up the student's exam, you finish the exam, and then it uh, records the finish time for you and the elapsed time. Thank you.